So maybe you're like me and have only stuck with one pick for a while, but you begin to wonder if there's something better. The problem is most guitar picks come in packs of six or even more. And if you try just 12 different types of picks, which there are a lot more than that, at $4 for a pack of six, you're going to be paying $48 for 72 picks, which is less than ideal. That's why I've decided to make videos where I try out different types of picks and rank them so you can find your ideal pick a little bit faster. So if you're interested, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's a specific pick you would like me to try. I'll also be giving these picks away so you can have the opportunity to try some different picks for yourselves, but more on that later in the video. Today we're checking out the Jim Dunlop light and medium sized variety pack, which comes with 12 different picks with different designs and materials for under $4. There aren't as many variety packs out there as I would like, but Jim Dunlop has a good selection which is great for experimenting and finding what you like. I'm going to test them out, do a little sound comparison, and then rank them based on my preference. So let's check them out. All right, so first I'm going to be testing out these picks for their feel. So first up, we have the Dunlop Tortex picks, the 0.60 and 0.73 millimeters. The text on the top, you can kind of feel it is textured and the actual material is kind of softer. It's the more like a rubber feeling. If I can describe it this way, it's kind of powdery. <laughs> Not sure what to you know explain this as. I don't know, it kind of has that feeling to it. These are the Gator Grips, the 0.58 and 0.71 millimeter. Now for these, the you know front text is less noticeable. It's kind of more smooth, but it also has that kind of powdery, kind of rubbery feel to them. This is the Prime Grip, 0.71 millimeters. And this one is kind of interesting. So it has like a bit of the textured elements here sticking out it's a lot more rough than the other two picks that we've shown so far but the outside is more of like a you know polished material but there is a, like a lot of grip on this right here like this i really actually like for that reason it's like really grippy there you go that's a good look right there these are the nylon picks 0.60 millimeters these also have like some sort of gripping on the sides, but it's not as much as the previous prime grip. It's actually pretty light and it's actually uneven on, on the both sides. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. This one is kind of weird. I mean, it's, there's no like uniform kind of grip. It's just, oh, here is the name. Here's our brand name. We're just gonna make it stick out. <laughs> So yeah, this is my least favorite so far. This is the Dunlop Ultex 0.60 millimeter. And the text is not, you know, it's flush against the pick. And this material is like, it's interesting. It's, so it's a plastic, but there's like a lot of friction because I'm not entirely here. <laughs> not sure how that will stand with your fingers when they're sweaty because I know the celluloid type picks, they get really slippery when you have sweaty fingers. So, um, but I'm not sure about this one. These are the celluloid picks, the thin and medium size. This one, you can feel a little bit of that um, text right there, but as far as the material, I think this one is more slippery than the all text. If I were to describe, okay, if I was to describe this one, Whoa, <laughs> what the heck? Dude, this thing is like really, like just slides on the <laughs> table. <laughs> Which is crazy because like when you feel it, it's like really like it didn't move that much. But anyway, if I were to describe these three picks, so the celluloid is like the most slippery. The Altex is like in the between the, the Tortex and the celluloid. And the obviously the Tortex is at the end which is more like a rubbery feeling. All right, finally we have the Max Grip, which is the 0.60 and 0.73, it's kind of hard to see, but it has like this texture on the top. Let's uh, feel that. All right, so on these ends, it's kind
kind of comparable to the prime grip, but in the middle, um, where the text is less uh, grippy there. So it's like the opposite of the prime grip where you'll see there on the, in the middle is where the most of the grip is. Um, and it gets less so on the outside. Another thing to note is that the grip is on more of the surface. So that could be helpful when you have sweaty fingers. All right, so now we're going to do the sound comparison of each of the 12 picks. Alright guys, so after testing these out for a bit, this is the ranking that I've come up with. So I highly value the grip of a pick. So the first three, the top three spots go to the picks that had the most grip. What I found out was that the max grip picks, you have to hold them kind of like right in the middle. And when you have that held there, it has the least amount of budge while you're playing. So your posture or your grip isn't going to really change if you're holding it there. Above that, weirdly enough, there is less grip. Um, they have the most grip here. Uh, I'm not sure why, but after that is the prime grip, then the Dunlop Ultex. After that, the grips aren't that great, honestly, but I will say that the Dunlop Tortex picks, they're really great for just strumming overall. I felt that it was really easy to strum. Um, it had a nice even tone to them in my opinion. Other than that, the least favorite were these two here. Just don't really <laughs> enjoy them, especially the last one where it has the weird kind of uneven texture with the brand name and then the name of the pick. It's just something about that throws me off. But anyway, try them out for yourselves, and if you do, let me know in the comments how you would rank these picks. Now, if you want to win this pack of picks, click the link in the description where I'm holding a giveaway on King Sumo. It is only US, but the rest of the details will be on that page. Don't worry if you don't win this time, I plan on making more giveaways in the future. So if you don't want to miss out on those giveaways, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.